Hi, this is Paulo from the NBA Academy and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create bases like the one the track Go Mesa by Ivy Lab. So this is the original version. And this is my recreation. But before we get started with the video, make sure you get subscribed to the channel, hit the notification bell to not miss any for future videos. And if you want to get access to this preset and the project file, you can become a member of Preset Pass. The link is in the description below. So with that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so the first patch that we're going to be creating is the sub, which sounds like this. And how we're going to do it is we're going to be playing an A0, a low E. We're going to load a sine wave into oscillator A, but this sine wave we're going to be modifying it with the wavetable editor. Let's click on this button to translate the harmonic into this graph. Let's bring the face all the way down and let's add a few harmonics. We're going to add pin number three and pin number five. And with this, we're going to be trying to create kind of a square shape. Like this. Now we're going to add a bit of noise and we're going to filter that noise using a high pass filter. Let's route the noise here. Bring the resonance all the way down. And we're going to bring the level of the noise a bit lower. So it's a bit smoother. Now what makes this sound interesting is the short riff. And how that is made is using the pitch bend wheel. So we're going to increase the range of the wheel to 24. And now we can play with the pitch bend wheel. So we got to create a very specific shape. How my shape looks like is something like this. And what I did to stay in tune was adding the tuner just for me to be able to look at the notes. And the movement of this riff is starting on the original pitch, which was A going up to F sharp and then going down into the octave of that F sharp and repeating the movement. So that is the sub patch. Now let's go into the second part of this riff, which is the raise and the stab. Okay, so here I have an initialized patch and we're going to create a quick raise. So let's boost the unison to 16, add a filter, set it to 24, and leave it as it is. We can also go into the FX and add a bit of chorus. And that'll be the low raise that joins the short stab. So now let's jump into the next sound. Okay, so to create the short stabs, what we're going to do is we're going to use two saw waves, boost the unison of oscillator A, but we're going to run some FM from oscillator B. Just a little bit. And we're going to filter all of this with a low pass filter. And we're going to automate the cutoff of the filter. Like this. Let's set it on envelope so it triggers when we hit the note. And let's make a shape like this. Make sure that the modulation is set to unipolar. So hold shift and alt and click on the cutoff. Bring the cutoff down. Like this. And to add a bit of warmth into the sound, we're going to add trash, set it on multiband, and move the midband on a range from 1k to 3.5k. And we're going to distort this range. So let's select a mode, for example, this first one, amp, amp trainer, boost the drive. And now we have the cool resonance spot around 1k. Now we can go back into the patch and change stuff like the filter and the length of our LFO. We can also change the FM and the octave of oscillator B. As you can see, there's a lot of cool possibilities. 
So now let's listen to all of our sounds in context. Cool, so that's gonna be it for these sounds and also for this video. If you liked it, make sure you get subscribed to the channel, hit the notification bell to not miss any for future videos. Thank you so much for watching, hope you have a nice day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.